Lives depend on these measurements. Judging the pressure wrong risks an explosive launch pad accident. Getting it right takes knowledge and experience. Thankfully, both are abundant here. Baikonur put the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin, in 1961, and its engineers have never stopped, even though the spaceport became foreign territory when the Soviet Union disintegrated. You received a task and you did it. You walked through the desert. Maybe you hitchhiked or maybe you trekked for many kilometers. But the job needed to be done. We were enthusiastic. You knew that the job was important and that your country needed you. A Soyuz rocket is pushed to its launch pad through the chill of a winter morning on the Kazakh steppes. With the demise of NASA's shuttle program, Baikonur is now the only way astronauts can get to the International Space Station. Despite the glamour still associated with space travel, it shouldn't be too hard to see that in many cases it's based on systems that are now decades old, 20th century technology in a 21st century world. Now that's fine if it works, but increasingly for Russia's space industry, things have been going wrong. Sometimes spectacularly so, this was an unmanned Proton-M launch from Baikonur in 2013. Since 2009, 13 Russian missions have fully failed. At least four more have been partial failures. In October, Vladimir Putin headed to Vostochny in Russia's Far East. It's the new Cosmodrome he hopes will become Russia's primary launch site, finally reducing reliance on Kazakhstan's Baikonur. According to Kremlin transcripts, he scolded space officials for the project's ongoing delays and touched on the suspicious disappearance of $126 million of state funding. Russia's space industry is at a point of deep crisis. It's a question of whether Russia can reform the industry and modernize it. If not from the point of view of technology, at least from the point of efficiency. Russia wants to cement its position as a global leader in piloted and commercial space launches. That will be a challenge. Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, was recently told it will get $22 billion over the next 10 years, less than half the budget it was expecting, and not much more than NASA gets in a single year. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Baikonur, Kazakhstan.